Okay, YouTube, I just wanted to update you guys on uh, you folks on my uh, latest uh, addition to my uh, solar system, my solar uh, um, energy, renewable energy system. Okay, I've incorporated an interlock kit, um, a generator interlock kit within my main panel. I had it installed um, with, by a master electrician. And what it consists of is this, this metal plate that slides up and down. And, you know, it allows this either this main breaker to be on at once or, or this back feed breaker uh, that feeds energy to my, my main panel through my, uh, my solar generator. Now, um, this particular, this, 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 again, this is just a metal plate that slides up and down. I, you can go to uh, www.interlot.com. And you can, you know, purchase one. Um, if you have the skills, maybe with metalworking, you could probably make it yourself. But this is UL listed and it is authorized in accordance with the NEC so that, you know, we won't be backfeeding um, any power into the grid itself. OK, during a power outage. Um, and what I've also done is taken the liberty of marking uh, key circuits that I would power up uh, during a emergency situation. And as you can see, um, I can power up pretty much about maybe um, 85 to 90 percent of the house. OK, the rest of the things that are not powered up during that are the high energy items like uh, HVAC. Um, or, you know, the water heater and, you know, dishwashers and things of that nature, which I really, you know, during a, a, a power outage, you would like the water heater, but, you know, I can't power them on all at once, obviously, because this is a backfeed breaker, and it's a 30-amp backfeed breaker that, you know, allows power to be fed, that would feed, feed both circuits on both branches uh, of my panel. Um, I said 30 amp because, you know, it'll be fine. I have to relabel everything, uh, but that's fine. Uh, what the electrician had to do was, you know, I instruct them, I say, hey, this is what I want done. Basically feed off of this. This is 220 right here. All This is, two, this is hot. Uh, it is 220. And what it does is it will feed into, he ran the wire and moved some uh, breakers, or, you know, around. He, and he ran it into both uh, terminals within this breaker here. And by switching this off and switching this on, then it will energize all the circuits on this branch and all the circuits on that branch. So, you know, so, so for proper operation during a power outage, what I would do is I would simply take this, this main breaker here, and flip it to the right, okay, turning off the circuit. And then I would take this and slide it up and then flip this to the left. Now, as you can see, I can't do that now. OK, I can't do it. But I, if I flip this up, then I can flip that, you know, to the uh, to the left. Now, prior to flipping this, even if you had a generator prior to flipping this, you have to turn off every circuit. OK, every circuit in your panel, turning it, turning it off. And then you turn on the generator power, wherever it's coming from, whether it's a gas generator or a solar, in this case, a solar generator. And then you would, you would flip this and then turn on each one of your critical circuits in sequence, one at a time, okay, so you don't over, overload or, you know, overtax your generator, you know, upon initial startup. So you would turn on each one of your critical circuits one at a time. And therefore, you can power up your house, okay, those things in your house, the back rooms and the bathrooms and, you know, the lights, the TV and everything else, uh, you know, on, on a typical 110 circuit. Um, so again, I haven't seen any videos with this being done, so I took the time, you know, the liberty of making one myself and doing this. I got the idea from a guy who was uh, on YouTube that was doing a comparison between interlock kits and transfer switches. Now, you may ask the question, well, if you've got a transfer switch, then why do you need this? Okay. And if you got this, why do you want to keep the transfer switch? Well, one thing switches I still have the flexibility okay for one thing um, I don't want my mother-in-law or my wife coming in here and trying to figure out what what breakers to turn and what sequence and so forth this is for for folks that you know that have a, a, the know-how and in, in dealing with electricity not that they cannot learn but I you know again why if you've already got this this right here gives me the flexibility of saying if I'm not home hey go in there and flip you know a B 
E, C, D, E, or F, okay? And, you know, and it will give them what they need until, until someone, you know, like myself or someone else can, can come and flip the switches in sequence. Now, I have instructions on how to do it. There, it's, it's clearly labeled here. But again, this gives me flexibility also. Now, one thing about this and the reason why it gives me, uh, one other reason why it gives me flexibility is the fact that if I take an extended vacation, um, I can just flip a switch and then all the essential circuits, you know, stay on. You know, uh, you know, lights come on when they need to. Um, you know, uh, security systems are in place, and also, you know, the freezer and the refrigerator stays running. So again, I use these. It's not an either or. I use them in tandem because again, it's about flexibility and it's about ease of use. It's a lot easier for someone to come out and flip a switch or two than it is to, you know, flip this and, and go down in sequence, okay? Um, you know, again, it can be done, but, you know, it, this right here, it makes it a lot easier. So I use them both. Now, to also update, you know, you folks on my uh, solar system, there's not really, not, not much to update, really. I added in this particular switch. This is a little small switch and with a project box I got from Radio Shack. I got the switch from like an auto parts store and I got the project box from Radio Shack. And all it does is, you know, when I flip it up, it controls the fans, turning them on and off. It just basically controls power going to this this terminal block here. You know, I just, you know, flipping it off, you know, turns off everything again for more flexibility. And I also uh, put in this particular case, um, you know, on top of the, um, you know, my outlet, because I don't want anyone mistaking this outlet for a typical standard outlet. Um, so, you know, we don't need anybody unplugging stuff and or plugging in things. So I put that there to kind of protect it. OK. Um, and so essentially, uh, that's the system. Um, so, you know, in order to, for him to do that, again, just looking at my diagram, all he did was he took these circuits that run, they run, I'm going to update my picture later, they run to this transfer switch. And what he does, he just branched off the transfer switch inside of the main panel. Okay. Um, again, just to illustrate just to illustrate what he would have, you know, he was kind of, you know, he, he kind of had to understand because this electrician, you know, most electricians, they really don't, they don't deal with solar generators, you know, per se. So you have to kind of explain what you want done and they tell you whether or not it's within the code or whether or not it's feasible or safe. So I said, look, this is what I want. I want you to feed off of this 240, okay, the same way, you know, if in coincidentally or uh, incidentally, it was the same um, electrician that put in the transfer switch, so he's familiar with what I needed. So essentially, this is 220, so I want you to branch or piggyback. What he had to do, he had to piggyback off of this, off of this circuit into this, what we call this back feed breaker, okay, which gives me the power to power up each branch. OK, of the main panel, therefore energizing my entire household potentially. OK, so I've already tested it. Works great. And YouTube, I just wanted to share the knowledge. Is it possible? Absolutely. OK, but always check with your local electrician, you know, and your local authorities to, you know, to make sure it's safe and legal in your area. And, you know, even though, yes, he admitted I could probably have done it myself. OK, however, um, you know, it, the instructions call for a called for a licensed electrician. OK, and they, even with my solar system, I'm not saying that this is how you do it, but I'm just saying this is how I did it. Check with your professional. A, I'm a systems engineer, not an electrical engineer, um, but check with those folks that are, you know, that do this for a living. OK, to see if it's authorized and see if it will work for you in uh, YouTube. Take care. And hopefully, you know, this inspires someone. OK, I'm going to go back through. I'm going to label properly label everything here. OK, I'm going to have a spreadsheet and so forth and, um, you know, make sure everything is all nice. And I'm going to update my placard and, and, you know, with the works. But anyway, YouTube, hopefully this helps someone. And again, this is an interlock switch that works with a solar generator or a solar system as opposed to a gas generator. Does it work? Yes, it does. It works great. At one point I was running the entire house the entire house uh, on, on solar. And, and I went out and looked at my meter, and my meter was completely stopped <laughs> for obvious reasons. But anyway, and that was, that was a good feeling. But anyway, YouTube, take care.